Hello, YouTube. You know, I always said that if I ever did find myself making a YouTube video, I would not start out with Hello, YouTube. So, you know what? It's too late now. Uh, it's been requested that I make this video. Uh, not something I ever thought I would do, but, you know, we can, we can do it and see what happens. Um, as far as a channel, you know, it, it, you know, I might make a channel. I've got a lot of, of strange and esoteric interests that people might find interesting. Maybe not. <laughs> you know, if I can get, you know, 20 or 30 people to be interested in the video, I, I would consider that a success. Um, we're going to talk about the uh, Tudor Black Bay Bronze today. Um, this video was requested by the Urban Gentry Watch Club. Several people asked me to make this video. Um, so we'll talk about it today. Uh, when I was doing research on the watch, I thought it was beautiful. Um, in fact, it is beautiful. It's a beautiful watch. Um, but there was not a lot of personal information, personal ownership stories. Uh, it was all advertising. It was all uh, trade show talk, that kind of stuff. Hey, we got this cool watch that's coming out. You should take a look at it. Yeah, that's great. But there's no real ownership out there of it. So I own the watch. I've owned it for about a week. Uh, today is Halloween of all days. Uh, so we'll talk about the Tudor Black Bay Bronze today and um, see if I can, you know, tell you about it, tell you a few things I wish I had known when I bought the watch, um, and go from there. Hope you guys enjoy it. So I thought the first thing we should do would be an unboxing. Uh, you're going to be faced with this pretty basic brown box, Tudor logo, inside of which you're going to have styrofoam. That styrofoam protects this rather nice black lacquer box, inside of which the top you got your warranty card and all your other kind of dealer stuff in there. It comes with two straps, which is nice. Um, this is kind of a NATO y. Kind of want kind of strap. It's got two extra pins. I don't think this is as nice personally as the leather. I will probably be shopping for a new leather strap just to have a backup at some point because it will wear. But it was still nice to have an extra extra one in the box. It depends on your style. Then you have the watch itself. <clears throat> you got the, you got the crown. I'm really into heraldry and and that kind of stuff, so I really like the symbolism in the in the uh, Tudor brand. I do wish that. Tudor had kept the rose instead of the shield. I think it's a little more meaningful. This leather strap is very thick. Um, I like it. I like it thick. I wear a lot of leather, leather goods and stuff with jewelry and bracelets and that kind of thing. Um, here's that that black uh, or black that uh, steel backed case. Um, because the, the case is, is bronze, if you get real sweaty or real wet, you will get a little bit of green vertigris on your skin. But you won't get it off of this case back um, because it's steel. You will get a little bit from the edges. It's not that bad. Because of the alloy they use, I haven't noticed it being that bad. Um, it is very nice. The loom is, is, is really nice. I am having enough trouble with the <laughs> lighting and the sound in this video that I'm not going to be able to get you guys a loom shot. I will say the loom is rather strong, uh, especially um, after coming in from light, obviously. You can kind of see the edging on that and the crystal, how thick it is. Um, all in all, it's a very nice watch. Uh, we'll get into the 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 grit of it here in a second. One thing I would like to say about this interesting little box is that 
all this comes in, comes out, and it's still lined. So, you know, if you're a younger guy that doesn't really have a dresser box or a valet or all that kind of stuff, it could be a nice start. It kind of took care of you that way. All right, let's move on to the wrist shot. Okay, so here it is on the wrist. This is the Tudor Heritage Black Bay Bronze for 2016. Um, it's got a bronze case, which is is, is very heavy. Um, it's got a bronze colored PVP, PVD treated steel case back, which we'll look at in a second. It's 43 millimeters. Um, it's a large watch. It is not subtle. It is definitely a statement piece. Um, it's got a satin finish on it. Um, that it, and it's interesting that this case ages because it is bronze it will develop a patina they've developed this um, Rolex and Tudor you know they love creating their own metals so their own alloys so they've created this aluminum based bronze that supposedly doesn't get splotchy it's it's a more you know it's a more uniform patina that develops so you know we'll see what happens I've started to see a little bit of patina develop on this side, um, but we'll see. Um, it has the MT5601 Tudor movement, um, which I believe is new for Tudor. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it is a little bit twitchy. Um, it does not have, at least mine, doesn't have the same really really smooth like butter kind of Rolex roll to it 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 um it does twitch a little bit I don't know if that's my particular movement or if that's a symptom of the movement whatsoever um, but it does if you look at it real closely it is a little twitchy um, again I don't know if that's a warranty issue I don't know if that's this particular watch or if that's a symptom of the MT5601 don't know um, it has you know, the diver bezel, which honestly I will never use. Um, but it is there. Um, it's an automatic watch, self-winding mechanical movement with bi-directional rotor system. Basically, it means it swings back and forth as you, as you wear it. Uh, the cool thing that they've done is they have a power reserve of 70 hours. So your 70 hours, you know, they say you can take it off on a Friday after work, put it on a Monday before work, and you don't have to wind it up, which 70 hours is a great time. Um, it's got a you know bronze screw down crown. It's important. Um, it's got you know the Tudor rose on it, which we'll look at. Uh, it's got a dome sapphire crystal, and this thing has got to be thick. I haven't been able to find any stats on how thick it is, but tapping on it, it feels like I'm tapping on a rock. Like it is, it has to be thick. Um, it's got waterproof to 200 meters, which is 660 feet. Um, again, you know, I'm not going to test that. <laughs> it's not, not my sport, but it, it is a beautiful watch. Um, it's got a aged leather strap on it, which is quite thick. Um, it's almost like a cuff. It's almost like a cuff bracelet kind of thing. Um, it's, you know, it sits reasonably high. It's not too thick, I don't think. Um, it is 43 millimeters wide. Um, I have pretty average wrists. My wrists are seven and a half, seven and a quarter, something like that. Um, the I'm wearing it on the third notch. I was wearing it on the fourth, but this comes to one of those ownership things I was talking about. Um, as I wore the watch, I wore it for 24 hours straight. Uh, before I made this video, I, I slept in it. I wanted to make sure that I, you know that I was comfortable with it. Um, it is very heavy. If it, you wear it too loose, like I generally like to wear my watches a little bit loose. Um, with this watch, if it's too loose, as you move around, this crown will smack into the back of your hand, and it, it you can feel it. Um, it is not subtle. <laughs> it is a heavy watch. Um, so that's one of the things I, w I, I wished I had known um, about the watch before I bought it. It, it is very heavy, uh, and you need to know that it's heavy. Beyond that, the other thing, the other thing I really wish that this crown was down here at this twenty. I, I really do. It, it would make the watch 
a lot more wearable because this crown wouldn't be you know hitting your hand all the time that one that one small little feature is not that hard to do you rotate the movement you rotate the dial this comes over here and it doesn't hit you constantly in the hand um, with such a heavy watch I think that would probably would have been an important aspect to this watch because it is so heavy um, as it is it is comfortable to wear um, as long as you're not wearing it for 24 hours like I did um, the um, watch feels very sturdy um, the uh, pins in here those are the only part I'm worried about I mean it, this is this is a very expensive watch um, and if the pins break and fall off I'm, I'm kind of worried about that for that reason alone it may end up on a on a, on a NATO or, or leather type strap similar to one piece kind of thing um, just because I'm scared of breaking it um, but it's getting somewhere. I've owned the watch for a week. Today's Halloween. Um, I have it paired today with this bracelet. Um, it's kind of a Viking kind of theme, but I think they, they go pretty well together um, as far as stylistically. Um, I'll put a link in the description to where I got this bracelet just in case anybody wants to know. Um, I bought this watch at an authorized dealer. Um, I really think that's important. I did get a deal on it. Um, I basically paid $3,100, not including tax. Um, I think MSRP is like $3,800, $3,900, something like that. Um, I, I managed to, to cut quite a, quite a deal. Um, they were running some kind of promotion and Rolex hadn't disallowed it. So I got 20% I got off. Um, I definitely wasn't going to say no to that. Um, as far as even the full MSRP, I probably would have come home with it anyway. Um, it's a beautiful watch. Um, like I said, the two things I wish I had known is the weight, or at least paid attention to, is the weight and this crown. Um, I really wish the crown was down this way. Uh, so. Again, you know, making a YouTube channel was not something I ever thought I would find myself doing. So, you know, we'll try this, see what happens, see if it works. Um, see if you guys are even interested in anything I have to say. Um, you know, I have a lot of interesting, or at least I think they're interesting. Um, some people might call them eccentric. A lot of eccentric hobbies and a lot of, you know, strange things that I enjoy. Uh, not much of a watch collector. I, I own a Tudor Black Bay Bronze, like this one. <laughs> and I own a Seiko 5. And as of now, that's it. There, there will be more, but for now, that's it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, you know, like, subscribe, you know, push buttons <laughs> or, or don't. <laughs> if I get 20 or 30 views, great. You know, we'll see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.